hello crafting welcome back to my channel in this video i shall show you how to make this beautiful bow headband for babies let's get crafting If you're new here, you're highly welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I am Ibiwari. For our project today, we shall be needing some items to work with. We'll be needing our scissors. We'll also need our elastic, our thread, our tape. Then we'll be needing three pieces of fabric. Three pieces of fabric for the two, two for two pieces i have organza fabric to layer on while the, the long fabric is just plain so for the long fabric i have the inch the width of the fabric is two inches while the length is 41 inches so i'm just trying to show you the organza fabric that will be layered on the other two pieces just organza fabric on satin to give it a glowing look you'll see how the outcome at the end of the video so for the longest fabric i'm using the width is for two inches while the length is 41 inches two inches width 41 inches length for the long fabric then for the others the smaller fabric i'll be using the measurement is the same for the fabric the organza fabric and the satin two inches width by by five inches length for the smaller fabric then for this fabric we'll be using seven and a half inches length i made adjustments to the measurements here is shown as six inches but I ended up using nine inches so for the length now will be nine inches while the width is 7.5 nine inches length 7.5 inches width that is what I used for the last fabric shown not as as opposed to the six inches you're seeing I ended up using nine inches so to start off with I'll fold my fabric the good side facing each other in half then so lengthwise good side facing each other in half then so lengthwise for the longest fabric then for this smaller fabric with the organza on it I'll do the same I'll fold the fabric face the good side facing each other with the organza on it for so lengthwise then for this one the same thing i'll fold in half with the width side facing each other i'll fold in half with the width side facing each other then i'll sew from one end to to a point in the front then i'll do the same on the other side then i will leave about two inches opening 1.5 to two inches opening so we can turn out the fabric at the end so i'll sew from this edge till i get to this point where you're seeing my hand then i'll leave about two inch opening so i'm done sewing so it's now to turn out my fabric to the good side that is all on the bad side so i'll turn it to the good side see where the opening is for the last fabric i showed you so now i'll turn all to the good side I'll first of all cut off the excess fabric to give it a clean finish when I'll turn it to the good side. So for this other one too, then I'll nudge the sides of the sewn part for the, the medium fabric. I'll nudge the sides because so to give it a lapping feel when you turn it to the good side. So it can lap well, it can sit well. Then for this other smaller fabric, I'll turn it to the good side i'll use safety pin to turn it to the good side then when i'm done i'll cut off any excess 
fraying fabric satin can fray a lot so i'll just turn it up cut off the excess then for this other side that we left two inches opening i'll use my scissors to go through it and push out all the edges that is why we nudged the edge of the fabric so it sits well when you uh, push it out it sits well no it doesn't fall inside so that's what i'll do then i'll now go ahead to close off that opening then for the long fabric also i'll use my safety pin to turn it out to the good side I'll use my safety pin to turn it out to the good side. If you've watched up to this point and you've not joined the craft team, what are you waiting for? Click on the, the subscribe button now to join the craft team for more Edward tutorials, fashion accessory DIYs, and millinery tips. I'll go ahead to use my my ironing my iron to iron and smoothing it out. Then for the elastic, I'll use my safety pin to pull the elastic through. For babies now, if you have access to measure the head of the head circumference of the baby, you measure the head circumference. For this, I use half inch elastic, 17 inches length. So once you put your elastic through your opening and it gets to the where you start the end of your elastic, use office pin to hold it down so that it doesn't move. Then look for because of the help of the safety pin, you can easily identify where the elastic is then continue pulling till you get to the other end of your fabric the other opening then this is the result this is how it will look like then you stitch bring the two ends together and sew down i'm done sewing the two ends together so i'll just set it aside before i set it aside i'll just adjusting the ruffles on the the old ruffles on the fabric then i'll set it aside i'll go ahead with this what we use in forming our actual bow. We use this one to form our actual bow. So the method we use is just like pleating method. That's if you're pleating your fabric. That is the method we use in forming this bow. So just pleat on itself, pleat on itself till you get to the end of the fabric. From the beginning of the fabric, because the way it's sewn is like a box shape so you just pleat from one end to the other end so you're pleating from the end where you add the opening to turn the fabric and you sold at the end when you turn your fabric so start pleating from there then you get to the other closed end so this is what you will get when you're done this is how it will come out when you're done then you hold it in the middle you hold it in the middle then free the other ends so this is how it will look like this is the shape you have now go ahead to use our needle and thread first of all i wrap the thread around the middle to hold it securely in place before i use my needle to stitch down the thread with which i'm wrapping around has my needle on it already so i'll just wrap first then i sew down with the needle to keep it firmly in place so while i do that i took some time out to arrange the bow the edges of the bow so i just got ahead to use my needle to stitch it down and ensure it's well placed and secured so once i'm done with that i'll go ahead to attach it with the elastic band that we've already made so if you've not joined the craft craft theme and you've watched to this point then you are wrong kindly click on the subscribe button to join the craft team trust me you don't want to miss out on any tutorial that will be coming up on this channel hit the subscribe button if you've seen anything you like as the video is still playing please give this video a thumbs up share for others to also benefit from this tutorial so i'll go ahead to cut my thread when i'm done i'm sure i ensured is secure and firm i'll go ahead to cut off my thread then arrange my bow give it some little touch up for the bow then i'll go ahead to attach it to the elastic part of the project so where I'll attach it is where I sewed 
together that is where i'll attach it you can go ahead to use glue to attach but i use needle and thread to attach it to the bow then this are the smaller fabric that we turned out also that is what we'll use to secure it in place so to for to attach it now the sewn part that is the middle part that has the where we sewed will be facing us it will be facing us that middle part after we turned it over that will place in the middle will be facing us then i'll use my needle and thread hold it firmly that the, in a way that it can't move use my needle and thread to add then sew it down once i sew it down to secure it once i ensure that i've sewn it down to secure it i will not cut off the s's i will not cut off the s's so i've sewed it down i'm cutting off the s's then i'll turn it over to the good side that does not have any sewn line on it so i'll just gently manipulate it over the good side where yeah, it does not have any sewing in it then that's um where i use my needle and thread to sew will be at the back of the bow then i just went ahead to use needle to stitch tiny do a tiny stitch to attach that part that back part to the satin fabric not i didn't sew it to touch the elastic just a pick a bit of the satin fabric sew it to this the middle fabric that we use in covering our seam in the middle of the bow so that way it stick, it keeps your bow in place your bow does not move so i'll do the same thing on both sides at the back just pick a little bit of the fabric a little bit of the satin ensure it does not touch the elastic in the satin then that is what i'll do to just give that final touch up and final security so that your bow does not move so this is our house come a beautiful bow for babies if it's for adults use the head circumference of the adult and you can also make your bow bigger by manipulating the measurements used you can make your bow bigger by increasing or reducing the measurement so this is our beautiful bow for our babies if you like this bow please give this video a thumbs up and share so till we meet again stay